Chains, let's move! Man your stairs, we trim too! Scouts, all sail! Give me some speed! Get up those shrouds, let's move! Shroud it all on! Disappointment you are, Thatcher. His mind's made up to stay, he says. It's a sodding. And hang all of you lot that follow this sorry bastard into obscurity. Faith in me is kind. But with Nassau done in, I feel I'm finished. I'm not of the same mind, mate. But I won't begrudge you the state of yours. You still looking for that sage fellow? Aye. Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. I want to see about it. The princess. Cheers, Thatch. Well, don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. We're celebrating my retirement! <laughs> On court this man's breakfast! Save us a few bottles, eh? It was a 
deserter among them who'll recall my face, and I slice into his gullet for any word left his lips. Anybody feel? Don't think so, sir. But I. Don't think so, sir. But I reckon Kenway suspects something. He don't miss much. Tell me about the beast. A fair gathering, sir. Most too drunk to stand. That will suit our purpose. <laughs> Tell me about Edward Teach. What sort of man is he? It's Thatch, sir. At least that's what he calls himself. But he's a mad bugger, he is. Cracked as a glass teapot, sir. Details, now. Stop talking in gym. Well, sir, he likes his drink. Only he makes it queer. He takes the usual rum for it and fills it with half a weight of gunpowder to top it off. Did I hear you were right? He drinks gunpowder? Aye, sir. Just for sure. And only last week he rounded up a score of his crew and bade us sit in the hold of his ship while he burnt off sulfur and other sickening minerals. We just sat there like it was one of a million pits of hell and nothing less ordinary. Good God! What the hell for? I'd like to test his crew is all. Tease out their fitness and what. Of course, it always turned out he was the fittest of the lot. Thought for a moment I'd die there. Bloody savages. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. Come on. It's time. Quickly, send the signal. And remember always this day. What the devil?
devil curse me. Where's the jackdaw? What a fat sir. Did he fall? Captain? He drinks damnation. And she was mistress of her trade. I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. A roving, a roving, since roving's been my ruin. I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. I asked this maid to take a walk, mark well what I do say. I asked this maid out for a walk that we might have some private talk. I go no more a roving with you, fair maid. A roving, a roving, to throw and be my ruin. Go no more a roving with you, fair maid. Then a great big Dutchman rammed my bow, mark well what I do say. For a great big Dutchman rammed my bow and said, Young man, this is mine Frau. Oh, no, 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 Boys from me, mark well what I do say. So take a warning, boys from me, with other men's wives don't make to creep. I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. A roving, a roving, since roving's been my ruin. I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. The thatch has been topped. Oxide. He was outnumbered. I couldn't reach him. Devil damn the man he was fierce, but his heart was divided. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. Uh, my own idiot father liked to brag about him. He meant to purchase a ship of his own. I'll get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad'll be a captain. Drowned in a whiskey bottle before he ever last show. 
Right, can we? We've been musing on this plan of yours. This observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard to be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. One of them slavers work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Annie. You know me better than that. We're only after information. Looking to find where the princess docks in her spare time. The princess? A slave ship? Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find the sage aboard it. Damn! Can't that animal stay the course we agreed to? that slave a ship, can we? There's hundreds of innocent men aboard. I know. I know. I think we're clear, sir. Fancy a wee swim, do you? Incoming ship! Guns out! Frigates! Spanish ensigns! They're all alone, sir! Fire! Fire! She's spooked, Captain! The slammer ship is running! Damn fool! Our men is in close. Fire! Be careful, Captain! Keep your distance and use mortars! Fire! 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 Damn that Captain Vin! He's unloading everything he has! He'll sink it if he's not careful. Get closer. Fire! Fire! Here it comes! Steady, lads! Awaiting your mark, Captain! Fire! Fire! Louder than sticks and spittle, baby. 
I've more than enough of all that. Just find the captain. Princess sails out of Kingston every few months. Right. We'll set a course. You made ash of my sails and rigging jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh, oh, damn it, Vane! Oh, Charles, <laughs> what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. <laughs> Lads! Ah, see, oh, the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this slot. And, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, Tricer! Ooh! <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a tenner down in Kingston, but uh, with you two grog lossons, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie them up! Cast them off. I'll cut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs and string your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling vein! There's no bloody use! Well, well. The fears of a good Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder. Shut your gob! Now. I'll take these oysters you've ordered. You mad sap. This island's crawling with food. If only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louse. Well, some just here. <laughs> Don't! Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Ratchet fool.
Fishermen and their dories, can we? This island's mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, can we? I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker. Now, let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God! I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering. Now, stay back and let me live in peace. I would if you stop filching the food I gather and the water I find. I'll stop nothing, should you? Vain! Face me, man! I said not to follow! Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean to! Into this mess, can't wait. And I'll be damned if I let you drag me back. You keep this up, and I'll have to kill you, Bane. Bloody try, by all means. It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, Welcher! Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly boat! Till we 
all that's left of you, Kenway! You can't hide, Kenway! I'll blow you to hell! Escaping me! Blow off some limbs! Bloody rags will be all that's left of you, can we? You goddamn fucking knee, Vain! <laughs> Nancy boy! You've only done half a fucking job! Fucking hell! Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition. Stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe you just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanker. I ain't coming soon. Stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flower run fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. What do you be needing today, then? My thanks for your trust, Captain. 